Welcome back to another Kyokushin Society vlog where we discuss Kyokushin Karate and other martial arts related content. Today we are moving on and talking about the last of the beginner Q in Kyokushin Karate, which are the 6th and the 5th Q. Under the ranking of Sosei Masayama, before all the divisions of the Kyokushin organizations, those were the Q of a yellow belt and a yellow belt with a stripe accordingly. But again, for the purpose of the vlog, we will discuss the rank and not the color of the belt since the beginning colors might vary throughout the different Kyokushin organizations. When I took my promotion, the color for the 6th and the 5th Q was still yellow, but then during the 1990s the order changed a little bit as the Kyokushin organization splintered off in their own path of evolution and growth. Remember, the color is only symbolic and more importantly is the Q itself. A Japanese karateka would not ask you what color belt you are, but what Q rank you possess. If you have not seen the other vlogs about the beginner Q in karate yet, please do so. I put a link to the playlist up in the corner where you can find them. You can check out the vlog about the meaning of a white belt first, where I talk about the white belt and its meaning of purity and potential. Remember, the white belt is not ranked. So it's a no Q. Then check out the beginning cues in karate 10th and 9th Q, the level of stability, and don't forget about the flag progressing through the 8th and the 7th Q, the level of fluidity and adaptability. But let's go back to the Kyokushin karate ranking system. There are 10 Q ranks in Kyokushin, going in descending order from 10 to 1, the first 10th Q to 5th Q being the beginning Q then the 4th Q to the 1st Q, the advanced Q, which are the green and the brown belt, which we will discuss in a future vlog. And now, let's concentrate on the 6th and the 5th Q rank, which is the level of assertion. But first, what is the definition of assertion? It is a confident and forceful statement of fact or belief. And how does this correlate to the 6th and the 5th Q in Karate. Well, at the previous levels, you concentrate on developing your physical skills, such as balance and stability, eye-hand coordination, and you also work on your technical ability. At the 6th Q level, you learn how to better execute techniques by using your Hara. The word hara is used as a technical term for the general area of the lower abdomen. Various styles of martial arts describe this as being just below or directly behind the umbilicus. The hara or lower dantian, as conceptualized by the Chinese and Japanese martial arts, is important for your practice because it is seen as the reservoir of vital or source energy. It is, in other words, the vital center of the body as well as the center of gravity. For many martial arts, the extension of energy or force from this center is a common concept. During training for this level, you have your concentration centered at the hara and must therefore strive to understand the principle of generating power from the lower abdomen throughout the hips and the waist. When practicing the techniques for this level, you learn to use the power during punching, kicking, and blocking from your hara, and you realize that all the power comes from this point. You learn to focus your power by using the lower abdomen, and more specifically, 
generate power from the tandem, which is the point where all the energy is concentrating, the center of gravity in your body, which is located just behind of the knot of the belt. Besides all these traits you develop at the prior Q ranks, when you reach the 6th and the 5th Q rank, you will have to have serious consideration to the psychological aspect of your training. Perception, awareness, assertion and other manifestation of your willpower. You will be expected to combine the physical concept of karate with your mind's potential. Perfect practice is only possible when your daily training has a balance of mental and physical practice. With physical practice alone, you will never gain a high level of proficiency in karate. In addition to physical practice, you need the mental practice, which is the non-physical rehearsal of a movement. To mentally practice movement, think about the movement in great detail and visualize yourself performing it perfectly. Imagine doing a roundhouse kick, a front kick or a punch and visualize the trajectory, speed, power and timing in your head over and over again and then use that visualization and put the techniques you perform in your mind to reality by practicing different aspects of the techniques to perfect it to your best potential. This will help you get a better feeling of your body in motion and you will realize that your mind is what makes your body move. And before we go, and if you are still here with me, let's check out the description of the 6th and the 5th Q assertion level from one of my favorite Shians, Shian Cameron Krum, from his book, The Budo Karate of Masayama, which I actually have right here. I have his old book from 1980s. And notice, he refers to the 6th Q as the yellow belt because that is the original color assigned by Sosai Masayama to the 6th and the 5th Q rank. And I quote, With the yellow belt element being fire, we become aware of the feeling of the body in motion and the dynamic nature of fiery aggression as a useful energetic tool. This aggressive vitality becomes the center of the yellow belt's karate attitude and he learns that fears are overcome by confronting them confidently. The yellow belt should realize that it is the mind that wields the body. Sosai Masayama tells of a feat of a mind control over the flesh. He witnessed a Zen priest thrust his hand into a cauldron of boiling water without any harm whatsoever. The priest reminded the young Goyama, you can do anything if you will only act with self-confidence. The power one can direct through the body depends on the degree of mental stimulation. Thank you, Xiang Cameron Quinn. Please check out his YouTube site. I'll put a link up here so you guys can go there. This is the 6th and the 5th cue, the level of assertion. It is the level that you begin to feel the control of your own body, life and environment you are in. It is the last of the beginner cue ranks before the advanced cue, green and brown belt level, which we will discuss in a future vlog. Us. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I We'll see you guys on the next video. Arigato.